Hello, what's up, guys? This is Delta Warfare. Welcome back to another episode of Friday Night Recap. Friday Night Recap, Recap. First question is from PGR91Games and he asks, would you ever have your mom and dad in one of your videos? All right, so here's the thing about that. I definitely would not mind it whatsoever and I'm pretty sure they wouldn't mind it as well. I'm pretty sure they would want to, you know, do that. But the thing about it is, is that you would have to, I would have to, I should say, I'd have to, you know, get it planned out and everything. And, you know, I, I mean, I guess, you know, we could just like, you know, start it up, start the recording and just like do what I normally do, like I normally do. Uh, but I mean, you'd have to like, you know, because they got, you know, work and everything. So you have to work around their schedule or I'd have to work around their schedule. And also another thing would probably be like, I would have to, you know, I would want it to be a milestone. It doesn't really have to necessarily like be like, I would want it to be a milestone and like a special, you know, video because it's probably only going to like happen one time. And so that's why I would want it to be kind of like a milestone type of thing. I mean, it might happen more than one time, but it's not going to be like, you know, every single episode or whatever. So that's why I would want it to kind of like be like a milestone because it's kind of like a special video. So like, I don't know, I could, I could probably like ask for likes or, you know, do it on like a certain subscriber amount or something. But definitely, in other words, what I'm trying to say, definitely I, I would do it. But I would want to know what you guys thought. Like, should I, you know, ask for likes and get to a certain amount of likes? Or should I ask for like a certain amount of subscribers before I do that? Or should I just do it? I don't know. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, leave a question down below for next week's episode. But while you're down there, let me know if you guys would even want to see that. Let me know if you guys would want to want me to do that and, you know, everything and how I should go about doing it because I truly don't know, but I wouldn't mind doing it. And I'm pretty sure they wouldn't either. Next question is from Gamer with Lime and he asks, what do you hope the next Call of Duty will be? Old style or new style weapons? All right. So this is a tough question because here lately, Call of Duty has been doing this thing where they've been adding new weapons and everything. And in Black Ops 3, there is a new weapon that's like the MX Grand or MX one grand something like that and it's basically just like an old weapon uh, i think it's like the m14 or something like that I'm, i haven't used it i haven't got it out of the black market but i have seen videos of it and it basically is kind of like an old older weapon basically remade and so yeah i mean black ops 3 is kind of like doing that already they have you know new weapons futuristic weapons but then they have the old weapons and you know they're updating it to where there's new weapons that are old weapons if that made any sense so it's kind of like a hard question to answer i mean i guess you could say do you want it just to be old weapons or do you want it just to be new weapons and everything and honestly you know, I, I would say that the past, you know, Call of Duties have been futuristic and everything and, you know, has, you know, futuristic weapons and everything. So I would say, yes, I would definitely want it to be older weapons. Next question is from Ortiz X187 and he asks, if you throw a cat out a car window, does it become kitty litter? Nah, it doesn't because, you know, cats have nine lives and they always land on their feet. So it's definitely not going to become kitty litter. Now, hey, I'm not promoting it i'm not saying go ahead and try it and do it you know for scientific reasons of course you know i'm not gonna say that but hey you know you you, you do what you want to i guess i i don't know that was terrible next question is from ortiz x187 and he asks what is the right age to start teaching my dog about sex all right so this is a serious matter here this is life this is normal this is serious here so Basically, of course, dogs pretty much already know. It's, I mean, it's in their instincts, I guess you could say. But, I mean, you, you know, this is serious. Stop laughing. But anyway, so seriously, like, I mean, it's 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 serious and i can't i can't quit saying that it's just it's a serious matter and you know it's it's the way it's the way of life but you know you don't really have to explain i mean if you do if you do want to explain it you know just go ahead and explain it. they're probably not going to understand you it's, it's a dog i mean unless you're like the dog whisperer or something but you know their instincts it's it's their instincts you know so they pretty much already know but anyway the right age you know it, it comes it comes down to this right because dogs you know in human years like say if a dog in human years is like one year in dog years that's like 11 
or, or some, no, it's not, it's not 11. Yeah, it might be 11. I don't know. I can't do the math, but anyway, so yeah, I mean, like if, if a dog is like, you know, 11 years old in real life and that means they're like 90 and they're about to die. So I wouldn't wait, I wouldn't wait that long. So, I mean, you know, just kind of like balance it out and everything. Next question is from Ortiz X187 and he asks, what is your current desktop picture? So as you can see here, here is my current desktop picture. And I simply put this picture on my desktop just to be able to have boobs in the thumbnail uh, that is not normally my current picture on my desktop so I'm gonna change that before you know somebody sees it and everything and I uh, you know get in trouble so <laughs> 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 Next question is from Ortiz X187 and he asks, is this a shovel or hold hold on, hold on just a second. Can can we say that in the in the in the video on the internet? Can can we say that? We can, we're good, we don't have to bleep it out, right? Okay, there's there's not actually anybody there. I'm just adding for the video. Next question is from Ortiz X187 and he asks, is this a shovel or a penis? Well, when I look at this, it looks like the number eight with a bunch of equal signs and the letter D capitalized. Next question is from BioX1 and he asks, do aliens have two different species like us humans? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I mean, the dominant type of, you know, aliens, the race, if you will, for aliens, the most dominant type is green. I'm pretty sure it is, but I mean, I'm pretty sure that they've, you know, branched out. Maybe, you know, how you can, you know, take red and blue and put it together and make a different color. I'm not going to, you know, make a fool of myself because I mean, I think it's purple. I think, isn't it purple or, or blue? Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know how that works. I was never good at that in preschool. Okay. Actually, I didn't go to preschool, went to kindergarten. So, but yeah, in other words, what I'm trying to say is I'm pretty sure the aliens pretty much, you know, got together. This is a weird episode, man. I'm pretty sure the aliens got together and mixed colors, if you will. So I'm pretty sure they are, you know, some purple aliens out there, maybe some yellow ones or something. I'm pretty sure this is... This is a messed up episode. Next question is from Sexy Jesus of YT and he asks, where do I go from here? All right, I'll help you out. I'll help you out most definitely. All you got to do is take a left and then take a right and then take a right and then take a left and then take a right and you'll be there. Next question is from Sexy Jesus of YT and he asks, one plus one equals two. Okay. But what if it equal three? If it equal three, all our life problems would be solved forever. I mean, <laughs> I really don't even know to be honest, but I'm pretty sure somewhere down the road when somebody invented math, like a long, long, long time ago, I'm pretty sure they got it mixed up a little bit and it used to be three. And then, you know, this really smart guy was like, no, no, it's not three. That doesn't even make sense. Next question is from Sexy Jesus of YT and he asks, when you know it's not delivery, what pizza am I referencing to? If it's not delivery, it's the Giorno. Next question is from Sexy Jesus of YT and he asks, can you do a dual calm with your dog? Yeah, I could probably do that. I'll probably be the only one talking because my dog doesn't really talk too much. So I don't know. Maybe I could make like a second channel just of like dog videos and everything like people do on, you know, the internet. I could probably do that. Yeah. Next question is from Sexy Jesus of YT and he asks, will you do 22 push-ups in honor of the Marines? Yeah, I think I could do that. I think it'd be a great idea to do that as well to honor the Marines and everything and anyway possible that I can so yeah I think I would be able to do that and I think it'd be a great idea let's go ahead and do that All right, so wow, I don't know how that camera work was. It was probably terrible, but I felt epically at the push-ups, man. And is it sad I broke a sweat from that? Only 22, 22 push-ups. I mean, man, but it was a great cause. I I would I would have done it again. I definitely would have. And it was a great cause, you know. So 
I definitely don't mind doing it. Uh, just, uh, yeah, I, I just, I failed epically at that. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Next question is from Sexy Jesus of YT, and he asks, chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla, 100%, no doubt. Vanilla. Next question is from Pharrell, and I'm not going to pronounce the last name because I am going to brutally mess it up, but the next question is from Pharrell, and they ask, Doritos or Lay's? 100% Doritos? Like, what kind of question is that, man? I got to get that double XP. It's Doritos. And Mountain Dew all day long, man. Next question is from Droid Red, and he asks, Did Stronger give you the pickles when you went into the fridge? This is more of an inside joke with my friends and everything, but yes. Yes, Droid Red Stronger was there in the fridge and gave me the pickles. Next question is from Droid Red and he asks, if a company's slogan could summarize your life story, what would that slogan be? All right, so when I first seen this question, I immediately thought of company slogans. Now, these slogans don't, you know, summarize my life story, of course, but I immediately thought of Burger King's Have It Your Way or McDonald's, I'm loving it. And I guess if you think about it, I guess you could have that as your life story, summarize your life story, if you will, because have it your way, have life your way, that'd be great. Or I'm loving life, you know, so I mean, those slogans would be a good, you know, life story, but it got me to thinking about what are some, you know, other company slogans. So I went to Google, of course, and I'm going to look it up right now and just read off some. And I just want you to think about this for a second. Okay. Because some of these are actually really funny. They really are. So number one is Nike. Just do it. You know, you could sit there and not enjoy life or you could get out there and just do it. I'm not sponsored by Nike or anything, but that's their slogan. Here's another one, State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. So you can have it as your slogan for your life story by being a good neighbor, I guess you could say. I, I don't know. So yeah, I just thought those were funny slogans that could necessarily summarize some people's life, I guess you could say. But anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Friday Night Recap. Thank you for all the questions and support on this episode. Don't forget to leave a like to support the video and subscribe to become a part of Team Warfare today while you're down there leaving a like and subscribing i'd appreciate it if you leave a question in the comments down below for next week's episode to get featured in next week's episode so once again guys thank you for all the questions i hope you have enjoyed this episode of friday night recap thanks for watching